We're now going to create our first global temporary table. A global temporary table you create one time. You populate it with an insert select statement just like a volatile, except the data is going to stay around all session. You can query it a thousand times, but when you log off, the table structure stays, but the data is deleted. What's interesting about this is it populates with your temp space. So you have to have temp space or you cannot populate a global temporary table. What else is really interesting is one person can create the global temporary table and then 2,000 people can populate it with insert select statements, but each one of them get their own version of the table. Nobody shares information. So each time they do an insert select into it, they get what is called their own materialized secure view. Now, here's the syntax to do that. Create global temporary table. You give it a name. You list the data types on commit preserve rows, and the table structure is out there forever or until you drop it. Then you populate it with your insert select, and now it is materialized with your temp space. And then you can query it all session long and each query uses your spool space. That's the concept of a global temporary table. Since you only have to create a global temporary table one time and the structure sticks around forever, oh, be real smart about this. What I've done are two things that are going to put me in the Terra Tom Hall of Fame you could get there too one day. I'm going to create a primary index. I picked customer number, CUSNO, and that's going to be my primary index. So I knew how it would be used. Pick the column that's going to be the best primary index. Notice also in red here in my create statement, I've got the words compress and compress. This is going to compress any null values. You can't compress the primary index, okay? So you can't compress that, but you can compress these other columns, and this is going to save you a ton of space if you have null values. Then, of course, I do my insert select to materialize it, and then I can query it all session long. When I created my global temporary table, I knew that one of the purposes would be to join it to the customer table. That's why I picked a primary index of cust no. Because when I join my volatile table to my real customer table, well, now they both have a primary index of customer number, and I'm joining on cust no equals cust no, and now the matching rows will be on the same amps. This is the fastest performing join that you're going to have that's joining two tables together in a merge equality situation. And that's why you give the global temporary table a good primary index. Here's a simple example of creating my global temporary table. And I want you to notice the on commit preserve rows statement. I've got two options there. I could have the on commit delete rows. And this is often used when you're having an ETL and having that global temporary table as an intermediate table. But I've got the on commit preserve rows to say keep the rows out there permanently. Now, I want you to also realize that table definition that I just created, it's going to stay out there forever unless I drop it. I can delete rows in the table and things of this nature if I needed to or delete them all. But with the on commit preserve rows, I'll be able to query it all session long. And this table, when I'm done querying it at end of session, it's going to keep the structure out there but say bye-bye to that data. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.